Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. Oh, it says it's a new update, but I'm definitely on the latest beta version at least. But anyways, welcome back to another episode of Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in again. This time I'm going to go as Melting. It's been a little while since we played as Melting. Uh, I want to give him a go because, like I said, it's been some time. Um, and we'll try it out because there's a lot more defensive options as this guy now. So I think we have some somewhat of a chance. Somewhat of a chance. I'm not going to say the best of chances, but... There's a chance, and yeah, I do, I do very much like a good old melting, uh, melting few runs. Obviously, we're gonna have lots and lots of deaths, it's gonna happen. But once we get, like, started, once we get established, get, like, three or four mutations going, there's a chance that we'll do a lot better. It's just these early floors are gonna be a little rough until I, uh, find my bearings. I just get really, like, I don't know, the, I get really, really overconfident with the little bandits, and it always makes me, um, walk into the bullets. Because I'm like, they're not gonna shoot at me at this range, and then they do. All good in the first area. We've got a few of you to take care of. We'll take the uh, the fishy fishy area straight away. Take whatever this is. Blood revolver. Eh. It does about the same damage, I think. It's just the range that's worse. Makes it a little easier to kill this guy because he can't really shoot me too easily. There you go. Ah, I didn't manage to get the brads over there. Throne butt, of course, is really good. We do have this new option, by the way, um, to hide and show the better descriptions, which I think is really cool. Power craving is also really good. I'm going to take power craving instead. I know that um, throne butt as this guy is really, really strong, but power craving just seems like a really good idea right now. To get the more weapon mods going. Yeah, that was to be expected, really, wasn't it? I didn't have very good weapons there. I want to try and go some of these alternate areas, though, when I can. Did you go straight underground the moment I started exploding you there? Kind of cheats there. Kind of cheats. Okay, who we got left? Shotgun. Good stuff. I will definitely be up for a shotgun. And then, let's see what we've got going on here. So, Puffy Cheeks would be pretty good. Um, Rage is probably pretty decent. Um, each kill increases HP and ammo drop. All weapons reload speed and uh, decrease accuracy. Yeah, I think I think Rage would be pretty good because we're like the whole point of this guy is aiming to not be hit much. So I feel like taking something in which not getting hit rewards us. Obviously, it lowers our accuracy, but that's not really that big of a deal. Use that at distance. Crack this open. Just keep our distance from this guy until he charges at us inevitably. Okay, nice. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. What weapon was this? Mini lightning pistol. Lightning pistols can be pretty good. I think they're better in the water area as well anyways, so... Bouncy fat seems really good. If you have ammo and take lethal damage, prevent it and lose 70% of the base total ammo. 20% less for types you're, um, types you're holding. Okay. Nice. Okay, so I didn't end up going to the fishy area there. I don't really know why. I thought I would have done, but hey ho. Let's just keep it moving. Okay, still be careful with the blood explosions and stuff here. The Needle. That's definitely a melee weapon, but I don't think I've used it before. Okay, so we're just fighting two of these guys now. Okay, yeah. Nice and easy. Good stuff. What's the Needle like, then? Very fast melee. Um, gamma Guts would be good. Ooh, the Change Scarier Face. 50% of excess damage you deal is added to the next damage you deal. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Hmm... So kind of a strange change to a uh, thingy there. Interesting. Um, let's go with Gamma Guts just for a bit of safety. Are we going to want the needle here? It doesn't seem that good damage. Yeah, it's, it's like a three hit kill. I don't think we want it. I think we'd rather have the lightning pistol back. 
needle doesn't seem like something that's going to be good, at least on its own, without mutes to make it have more range or more damage. Got to be careful. I know we got Gamma Guts here, but I still would rather not risk running into um, some of these enemies. Some of them it's fine. The rats, obviously, is absolutely fine. But there's a few other ones that aren't so friendly. Anyone that shoots. Director Grenade Launcher is a bit risky, but I'll take it. We could go pizza, but we could also go inverted. I think I'm going to go inverted. It's a little more risky, but I'd like to get boiling veins if we could, but we'll see. Okay, good. Thank God we have a grenade launcher here, because otherwise that could have been immediate death. Got to really keep our distance from some of these enemies here. Right, where's our weapon mod as well? Good. Ooh. Now that's where you want the grenade launcher. <laughs> the shotgun's good, but my god, the grenade launcher's going to be our biggest fan right there. Or we're going to be its biggest fan, should I say. Right, let's keep it moving. Rage has kept on building. Faster fire rate and stuff. More uh, ammo drops too. Sticky grenade revolver. Kind of? I don't know. Sticky grenade revolver maybe could be good. I'll give it a go. Seems a little, a little sketchy, but I'll give it a go. Um... Replaces two health with one armor. Whenever you are missing armor, reduce primary reload of 45. Enemies have a very small chance to drop armor. I don't think that's going to be too too good for us. We'll take um, power craving again here. Oh, we did end up going to YVs. Okay, so this thing's like a three round burst, which I wasn't expecting. It's good. Don't get me wrong, it's good. Just not what I was expecting is all. Golden pop rifle. Very, very happy with that. Cool. Yeah, we quite like this thing. It's quite good. All good? All good. Okay, nice. Got a golden weapon unlock finally as well. Very happy with that. Plus one max HP, everything that deals more than one damage to you deals one less, or Boiling Veins. Both of them are very good. I think I'm going to try Tough Shell, though. Having three HP as this guy obviously seems pretty incredible. There you go, look, I just survived a hit. When would that ever happen normally? And then because of my more drops and my rage, survived another hit there. Normally those guys would deal three damage, but because of this they deal less and we can survive them. Not quite so happy with our current situation. I think Bouncy Fat just saved me there. I'm about to die. Lost a lot of rage there. I'm on minus ammo for some things, so that's probably not great. Yeah, I'll be taking that, thank you. There you go. Probably a good idea to have this on us when we've got Bouncy Fat, just to make sure that if it does end up triggering, we've got uh, a way out. Good stuff. Okay. We all good on this stage? Good, good. Um, Second Stomach could be good. Euphoria? Yeah, we'll take Euphoria. I don't take that very often. Right, we're at, we are mostly okay here, um, but we've still got to be very careful of the big boys. And the explodey boys, of course. 
The rest of them, the Gamma Guts will take care of nicely. Okay, cool. Still a little scary. I see you up there trying to respawn these geezers. Where's the rest of y'all? Is that it? Nope. Another few of you up here. Spiral yo yo gun. I have no ammo for the spiral yo yo. Okay, this is gonna be rough. I'm probably gonna die here. Oh wow, that this thing, this this weapon has quite a bit of damage. I knew it had a lot. I knew 50 was a good amount of damage, but I didn't realize it'd be just killing bosses that fast. Long arms would be very welcome round about now. But remember, Gamma Guts will be helping us out a lot here. The fact that it destroys walls too is pretty nice. It collects bullets, it destroys walls, it does it all. Hello. Good. Okay, try and take out this boy here. There you go. And one last geezer. Done. Splinter bomb. Interesting. Okay, this could be pretty good. Um, let's take puppy cheeks for the extra loading of our, of our melee swings. Essentially allows us to just prepare extra swings for when we've got a lot of enemies in the same spot. Seems to work out pretty well, to be honest, there. Okay. Still got to take it easy here. It's still... We're not in the clear at all. Did take damage there. I love that. Oh my god, this area is hectic as shit, man. Hectic as shit, man. Being able to destroy walls to, like, escape things is very, very nice. Little Popo on his little Segway. Good. Frost Assault Rifle, I think I'm okay, thanks. Flame or Bouncer. I think Bouncer's really good on melee from what I remember. And I think we're just going to keep on going. I'm pretty happy with this melee build we've got going on here, though. As melting, it's not something I expected. I need to be using... Yeah, okay, this is very good. I need to be using my um, right-click more often. Still very good. I <laughs> just one-shot him. Okay, he exploded on me, though. That was a little unfair. Can one of you drop health, please? There you go, there's the health. Good, good, good. Wow, that was, yeah, I can't believe I one-shot him. That was kind of amazing. Kind of amazing. Shortcut through here. <laughs> I like Bouncer on this, it's very nice. Okay. Hopefully we can keep this amazingness going for a little while. We shall see. Can't swing too much because I need to make sure I always have swings ready for when things like shit hits the fan. Ah, bugger. That was very bad. No, 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 no. Give me the health. Thank you. Honestly, bouncy fat on this guy is insanely strong for a melee build. Bouncy fat in general just seems really good for melee builds, but on this guy, my god. Tis amazing. 
We've lost all of our rage now, though, which is kind of sad because I'm liking all the extra ammo drops to keep us going. I need Rabbit's Paw as well. That'd be really good. Okay. We all good? The boss is going to be really tricky in this next stage, though, I will say. Um... Negate every third hit might be a good one. Rabbit's Paw, though. I'm going to take Rabbit's Paw. But this, this boss is going to be tricky. Because of this look. Like, they, they, they move away from you. It means that some melee weapons just don't work against them. Oh god damn, did that reach Ultra already? Holy shit, I wasn't expecting that. Sadly that means no long arms yet. This is gonna be tricky as all hell. Yeah, because now I'm out of ammo and I can't. And you don't have shots that I can bounce back at you either, which seems a little unfair. Okay, we got you. Somehow we got you. That was, that was definitely the most butt-clenching part of all of this. Okay. Hyper Rifle. Cool, we got Ultra very quickly here. Let's see what we got going up. Blow up low HP enemies. Uh, lose half your HP and get three more mutations. That seems amazing. Increase max level by one, even more rads. Half ammo cost for all weapons. All weapons cost a small amount of rads. The type of enemy that dies last in an area is dead in the next area. It's kind of interesting. That seems real good. <laughs> I'm going to take it. It seems super risky, but... Um... This is tricky. I think we go with Throne Book for the big explosions. We go with Alkali Saliva. And we go with Last Wish. Okay. I don't know why we did 200 damage then when we only meant to do 50. Like a supercharged attack or something. I mean, at least the uh, the shotgun shots are doing a real good job. Taking them out. Get out of here. Boom. I'm very scared of the doggies, just because I'm not always going to be able to deal insane damage to them. I think they got about 150 HP to so three hits, typically. Yeah, like that. That's... Not what I want. Okay. Not too much left now. I do not want to go inverted. Not right now, thank you. Where's the other portal, please? <laughs> Wait, is there not another portal? Please say there's another portal. Okay, there is good. It's just all the way over here. Yeah, do not want to go inverted right now, please. Okay. Just pay attention to what enemies are around us. Most of them are fine. Don't like these sucky boys.
Big old health chest. Oh, we got an overheal there. Nice. Wasn't expecting that. Damn. These are brutal. <laughs> frost is always good. Yeah, I think we take Frost. Good shit. Minus 600 ammo on that bad boy. Oh lord, we're, we're in debt on some of our other uh, ammo consumption things here. <laughs> Quite in debt, it's funny. Right, hopefully we can get this done. This weapon should do a hopefully pretty good job. That was very bad. On to the third phase. There you go, we got it. Whew, that was tricky. That was tricky. Now this... This is going to be a lot a lot more difficult, I think. Yeah, this is going to take a while with this shotgun, I think. I love the way he just drops ammo in places that is completely unobtainable. Thanks for that. Come on, dude. You've got to be nearly dead already. You've got to be nearly dead. Destroy it for opportunities to melee him, but it's just so rare. My god. Base shotgun, yeah. Not the best weapon for this. At least ammo-wise, we're okay for the most part. There you go. Oh, my god. We've entered loop. Ow. Almost died straight away. I need, um, what's it called? Trigger fingers, really. This weapon isn't really cutting it on this uh, stage with all these enemies. Oh, I'm definitely dead here. Okay, let's try and use our blood explosions a little more because that was um, insane. I kind of forgot about that for a hot second. It's very good. And I did upgrade it. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay, game. Okay, I see. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck is that? That's new. That's very new. It's about to kill me, too. Okay, now I got it, I got it. Holy shit. Oh my god. Y'all really want to step to this? Pretty amazing.
Everything dead? Yep, there you go. Just walk near things and they all start exploding, it's beautiful. I think I killed a boss in the middle of all that. I think. <laughs> Not entirely sure. Is that it? That's it. My goodness. You just keep moving and spamming explode. Watch as it all explodes. <laughs> My god, this is a great melting run. My god, I'm loving this. Well, I got 2 HP and I'm unkillable. Well, not unkillable, but feeling like it. Right, let's go back to our thingy here. Flame is giving us, this flame of our head thing, Rage, is giving us so much fire rate as well. Very, very nice. Explosive? I think, I think we need to go and check our, check our shit, right. Let's go up here first. That's that thing. We don't have a crown right now, so we can't do that. That's the challenge room. We don't want that right now either. We do want this room because we have a few of these bosses done. Okay, one of these bosses done. Don't even know what that did. Right. Take a crown. We'll come back here when we can. Um, no health drops. That could be pretty good. Yeah, let's try that out. I think with all the protective measures we have going on right now, that's probably the best option for us. Let's go. <laughs> My god, it's so kind of hard to keep track of her. Hopefully the explosions just take care of these guys very quickly. We'll see, I guess. So far, so good. I mean, there's so many small enemies in this that just the explosions are, like, near infinite. I keep getting to 1 HP. I was hoping that wouldn't happen much. Flail, you say? Ooh, yeah. Flail could be good. Get some weapon mods on this bitch. This thing could be uh, quite gnarly for us. <laughs> he barely got to shoot. That guy threw a car at me. Right. Keep the keep the kabooms going. Keep the big doggies away from me as well. Dude, bouncy fat with a melee build is just unbelievably strong. <laughs> Oh shit, no, I've just realized something bad. I, I only have uh, melee weapons now, so I'm not gaining ammo for anything. Which means I'm very susceptible to dying, so I need to get a, a gun real fast. I'm probably going to die here. 
I didn't realize not having a gun's really bad for me. What the hell's going on with this spiky boy? That, oh, that's like a new boss, maybe? Okay, let's go through into the courtyard. Why not? Okay, that guy just killed me literally instantly. The moment I came through here. I've got no mutations now, so I'm probably dead pretty fast here. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty fun, though. That was pretty fun. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Um, we did a good, a good little bit of looping. As a character that I wouldn't normally think to do looping as, either way. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.